What's up everybody, Riggs here with Tech Discovery. Today we're going to do a tutorial video how to upgrade to Windows 10 if you are a Windows 7 or 8.1 user. Let's check the video out. So before we do the upgrade, just wanted to let you know that all the users who are using Windows 7 and above can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So that's Windows 7 and Windows 8 or 8.1 users. So let's start doing the upgrade. You will notice that usually you will get a Windows 10 icon right on the right hand side in the bottom. And then if you put your mouse over it and then you click, you should get a Get Windows 10 screen. Basically, it's going to tell you a little information about um, to reserve and upgrade. And you've got a little menu here so if you click the menu um, the first part is about Windows 10 is telling you all the features and what is designed to do and what it can do for you and then you've got the second part here reserve your upgrade and check your PC so the first step we, we're doing today is reserve your free upgrade this is for users who are not in a hurry to get Windows 10 so reserve your free upgrade and then we're just waiting for the process it says it's free full version of Windows 10 not trial okay let's continue now the way this is working is is checking for it's, it's basically checking for an update same way as you do your Windows updates so this version is it checks for update and then as soon as it has the update you can upgrade through the control panel and then just go from there it's usually checking for requirements to see if your PC is compatible which most of the new PCs are now so this might take a while we're just going to pause the video and as soon as the next step is available we're just going to start recording so the process has started it's basically a two gig two and a half gig near enough and it's basically downloading the upgrade through your normal upgrades section so same as you would do any upgrade this is what it's doing and it's currently at 9% so one when, when this hits 100% we're just going to continue the steps from there so we're roughly at 96% and we're getting ready to complete the upgrade I just want to say that sometimes windows 10 icon which we've, we've done here right in the bottom right hand side might not be available for everybody which means we have to go into the window into the microsoft's website and download it manually which we're going to be covering in this video as well so the process is nearly finishing and very shortly we will just have the Windows 10 preparation ready to be installed right so now it's downloading Windows 10 as you can see you can accept or decline we're gonna press accept right now we have the option to start the upgrade now and then everything will be done automatically or schedule it for later now we're going to schedule this for later because I'm going to show you the other option where we can download Windows 10 through the Microsoft website if as I said Windows 10 is not being offered in your Windows so we're going to schedule this for later confirm time and close right
before we show you the other way just want you to see that the version I'm using now is Windows 8.1 so all you need to do is select this PC right click properties and then up to the top it says Windows 8.1 at Windows 7 you go to my computer right click and it's the same option and then it will tell you it will tell you um, what version you're using Windows 7 so let's uh, close this now this is the website from Microsoft to download a copy of Windows 10 legally I will put this link down below just for people to have easy access to it so basically all you do is telling you some information system requirements as we saw on the other one and it uh, says here customers running Windows 7 8.1 and 10 so basically this will work with all Windows but in this case we're going to be upgrading to Windows 10 so this is very important as well you need to be selecting the right bit version I'm using a 64 bit some people's computers are 32 bit some people's operating system rather so again in order to check this you go into my PC right click properties and as you can see down here I'm using a 64 bit it will tell you system type 64 bit so close this again so what we're doing now is download the two 64 bit version we want to be saving the file let's save this to desktop for the time being so already downloading let's double check yes it's already downloaded so this is media creation tool by Microsoft right click open so now this is the Windows 10 setup what you want to do is upgrade this PC now or create an installation media for another PC we're going to be using upgrade this PC now also don't forget this is only an upgrade this is not a clean install you will have all your files when you've upgraded to Windows 10 if you wanted to do a clean install once you've upgraded to Windows 10 you will have the option there click next now it's preparing the process as it did with the first option that we showed you we can now see that the process is 97% so it's close to finishing as the process is going to start upgrading and my PC will shut down and uh, restart a couple of times once the upgrade is being made we're going to be switching to our main camera so you can actually see the process so now we're on the next window so it's doing the setup Right, this step is just the process of setting up everything we're going to be accepting licensing terms so now we've switched to the main camera and the upgrades process is 100% and it's just making sure it's ready to install So here we are, ready to install, install Windows 10 Home Edition, keep personal files and apps and then please click install and then the process is getting started on installing Windows 10. This shouldn't take long.
So the PC now is just going to restart. This is the first restart while it's uh, installing Windows 10. As you can see, now it's uh, doing the upgrade and it's copying files. So this is the actual upgrade itself. Now as you can see, the computer is just started, click next, in here we're going to use the express settings which are already set up from Microsoft, then click next. Alright, so here we are. All we need to do now is log in. And that's the first screen. This is now how Windows 10 looks and just to confirm we're just going to go at this PC or my computer, right click it and as you can see it says Windows 10 Home Edition 64, 64 bit. That's it for this video, hope it's been helpful in any way. If you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up, if you have any problems or would like to ask us anything, please leave them down below. Until next time, bye bye.